<laughs> Dude, we just mailed out 25 of those bad boys. Why would you do that? Copyright. No, I was gonna say it's disrespectful. No, man, everything's a freaking copyright, man. Uh, when I make videos, I try to use Creative Commons only because I'm not scared about getting busted. What I hate is that they just remove the freaking video. I've seen it a million times. Let's take it off. And then they say, strike one. Yeah. And then, like, if they remove two more, they freaking delete your account and all your friends. You pussy. Go ahead and play this Neil Young, man, so you've been listening to. Yeah. Come on, man. If you got any nuts on you, you'll play Neil. <laughs> I've got nuts on me. Listen, man, Neil wouldn't care if you played it. Well, that's another misconception, man. It ain't never the artist. It's always a record label. Because they don't make any money anymore, so they're trying to grind out more money. He's got his own record label, though. He has his own record label? I don't know if he's on it. What? <laughs> I said, I don't know if he's on it. <laughs> you don't know if he's on his own record I just label? No, he has his own record label. Yeah. Dude, you better drive wise, man. What do you drive wise? Do you ever hear that expression, too cool for school? Yeah. You just, just quit school. I didn't really say you're cool. You just didn't even do school. In fact, I remember, man, I wasn't in eighth grade. Actually, when you actually left in 10th grade, yeah, you true. didn't even uh, tell anyone, did you? It was Probably your last day. Go like ahead. Like two peeps. Yeah, your last day. You're sitting there with your teachers. You're sitting there with your friends, and they just never show up again. Yeah. Are you too cool for school? That is kind of cool. <laughs> There's a lot of people that don't need to go to school, right? Hey, man, do you watch the LA Inc.? No. Do you think that cat chick's hot? Have you seen her? Not really. I haven't seen her that much. I've seen, like, she's pretty skinny, and she looks pretty hot. Some people say they'd like to do a tequila shot on her stomach and do that salt and lemon lick or lime lick mm. on her navel. Yeah. Would you do that? I told you I hadn't seen her. Well, she's Not pretty hot and she's pretty covered in tats. And now she's going out with Nikki Six from Motley Crue, and he might try to kick your ass. But you know what I think? Is that a is that an up or a down? <laughs> what? Is that a good thing? But he's, she's going out with Nikki Six. I'm just messing. Why are you messing? What do you mean? I don't really care. I think Listen, man, if Nikki Six tried to kick your ass, you know what I think would happen? Hmm. I think he'd kick his ass. <laughs> I am, I'm not going to disagree there. <laughs> I mean, I'm, not trying to get in a, I'm not trying to get in a fight with Nikki Six. I'm pretty sure I met him one time, you know. Back a few years ago, Nikki came to this, uh, where I was at in this town, and we were jamming in the band. It was a previous band. You know, I was in a band briefly right before you, dude. Mm -hmm. But it only lasted like a year. Right. And... He was supposed to be getting this tattoo at this friend's place I knew, and, the, and the, the tattoo guy, his son was in the band, right? And so Nikki shows up, and we're jamming with him, and everyone's like, it's Nikki Six. And then later, he did a radio interview and everything. And I was, like, talking to him, and I was kicking his ass on the freaking guitar. And then I realized he's a bass player, so it wasn't quite an accomplishment as I thought. But he was cool, man, and we were talking. And then later, people said he was an imposter going around, and then other people said he was real. Yeah. Do you know what I think, though? I think anyone could kick Nikki's ass, man. And you know why I say that? Because every time he say that, he wants to kick your ass. So I'm hoping he tries to come, ar come around and be like, oh, you guys want to kick my ass? And be like, hi, Nikki. And then like put him on Troubadour TV, dude. It's, it's a good ploy. What do you think? <laughs> that's pretty sneaky. You think it is? I didn't even know he was a bass player. Dude, it's disrespectful, man. That's how I always thought he played guitar. Dude, they're hair metal, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. That's hair awesome. metal. Yeah, ooh. So, you know, I used to say Nikki was my uh, my guru of fashion, man. Like like my idol. If I ever wanted to, like, if I had money to buy clothes and stuff, I'd do it just like Nikki Six, man. But then I saw like he had a shawl on or something. It looked like Stevie Nicks or something. Then I, was, I wasn't down with that, man. I wasn't yeah. down with it. <laughs> That's embarrassing. That's for sure. Do you got anything to say to Nikki if he's gonna come over and try and kick your ass? No, dude. Not nothing. You're a pacifist. No, just like his latest song is pretty bad. What the 6 a.m. thing? Yeah, dude. I thought people liked that. Oh, that song was trash. I thought that was Rick Rubin. That song was trash. Dude, don't, don't talk trash about other bands. You think you're so hot? I didn't say my songs were oh, great. Oh, yeah, you got some great songs I just there. know good songs. I know songs that kind of suck. And that song kind of sucks. Well, how do you rate your songs? I don't know. I just saying that song was just really poppy. Uh-huh. You just want to, like, start off on the chorus and then go there 15 seconds later. What do you? What, what substance is there? What are you talking about? If I'm Nikki Six is watching this, man, I'm not down. I suggest you come to Nashville. Look up Chris Stone. He's trying to mock you, man. Chris is mocking you, Nikki. And if you want to jam with us or hook us up with some sweet contacts, then that's your business. Look, dude, I'm not down with trash guy bands. But yeah. 
the, the facts are the facts, man. So. And, and what's the fact? I right, said the, the song was trashy. What about DJ Ashba, man? The guy's cool. <laughs> Look, I'm a DJ Ashbib fan, man. I, I used to watch him when he was with that band in New York City. They kind of sound like ACDC, man. DJ rules, man, if anyone checks him out. Although I think he's with Guns N' Roses lately. Might not be too cool. And I don't mean Slash, I mean... Right, Axel? Yeah. Why do you say Axel like it's a swear word? I, you know, okay, the is this a trash in the Yeah, the longer this camera's on, the worse this is getting. Just well, get it off. Because your opinions are coming out, the natural, <laughs> honest opinions? <laughs> So you got something against Axel now? I'm, I'm, I'm not, nothing. Okay, how come we're talking about two hair metal bands? Now That's Guns N' Roses exactly. is a hair metal dude. Now you're saying they're hair metal? I'm, I'm not saying anything, okay? Hey. hey guys. Hey, what's up? What's up today? Uh, Get some padronis. Oh, okay. Okay, first off, dude. These cigars. I want you to see the price of this. Is that crazy? Yep. I mean, Chris had to because when we got our tax refund, okay, we said, and we've been saying this for a month and a half, we said, the anything we're trying is that cigar. Maybe Jerry will pull one out, we can look at it. That's right. Big Mondos. Yeah, just see the, the inside of it. This cigar was phenomenal. That is a cigar. That's a cigar and a half. How you doing, man? Good, and you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about Matt today, and it's always the bummer. It is. I told you I was going to put him on the film. Oh, man. Look at the oily skin. I went to the... Uh, to the, to the chair. Oh, I got to talk to you about that. Dude, this cigar. Look at that skin. Uh, that thing burns. Did you go to the funeral? I did, yeah. Oh, man, I wanted to go. But like I you said, we're asleep. Uh, we're asleep. You're still so sick. Well, how did it go? It, it, it was sad. Did you see him in the coffin? Family? No. No, no, no. It was church... Then it was family and friends, or close, close friends. And I didn't want to bother the family, so. This is where we always saw Matt. You know, we came in here, met him in here, he would show us the cigars, he'd be standing in here, and he'd be, oh, did you guys try the so-and-so? Then we'd talk about movies, stuff like that. And you know, we're just gonna miss the dude, man. Look at the price of each. Oh, open it up. But they're worth every penny, man. 25 bucks a piece, we never get those. Once in a while, we'll get these. This is 13 bucks, like the one episode when we uh, went to the game place. You know, or like the, the midnight release of Modern Warfare 2. We had a, that one, Padron. But then they got this new line. It's only six bucks, man. Look at all these fine cigars, man. You're, you're mad at them. I am. I'm not good. It's all right, dude, because that's what people usually do is they get angry that, why couldn't you have stopped that, man? We could have seen you more... I mean, I'm feeling like, man, I should have went earlier and hung out at his house. And How do you hold somebody by the hand? You can't. I mean, I... Tr That's I his life that he, you know, that. he was into, you know. And you told me it's a, it's a shoot. It's a gamble. It's, you know, I, I have been depressed, but never depressed to say, okay, well, either I die or I live. Right. Yeah, he was actually you know? a depressed person. He was a good friend of yours. I'm sad for myself. How's Craig taking so. it? Did In his own way, I think. Really? Yeah. Well, man, we got some good cigars. I hope it was worth it, man. These are the last cigars. I mean, this is the first round of cigars without Matt there. So this is kind of a bummer. Well, we got some premiums, man. We got a Padron, a Monte Cristo, and two Avos, man. These are freaking good cigars. They're like freaking six bucks each or something like that, but... You know, it's worth it. Jerry gave us a small discount because we come in every, every, every day. And, uh, well, Matt, if you're in heaven, dude, these are on you. We're going we're gonna to think of you during these, man. I know it sounds a little cheesy, but, you know, these things about living and dying are real. We're all going to die, man. And Matt just took the ticket a little early, I think. But God bless him, man, and I hope he is in heaven. And uh, I hope whatever pain he was in, it's done, you know. You know, I hope rest in peace. It's because, okay, they're resting, whatever. It's the peace part, man, that these people that... Matt was, like, depressed, man, and he was... He seemed like he couldn't get a handle on it, you know? Jerry just told us his previous girlfriend freaking OD'd four years ago. So he's all around death, you know? And now he's dead himself. But anyways, that's kind of depressing. So we're going to go smoke these. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And, you know, like I said, man, 
give us a little hope that we're gonna put these gumball machines out there, make some coin, move into a band room, a nice band room in Nashville, man, and we're gonna make some, some kick-ass videos, maybe get some people in to do some live stuff and record too, so. We ain't ever gonna quit, and don't quit watching us, man. We need you guys, so rock on, man. Peace.